Tonight, former President George H.W. Bush is lying in state inside the Capitol building. Tens of thousands of, of Americans are also expected to make their way through the rotunda ahead of President Bush's state funeral on Wednesday. The flag-draped casket of former President George Herbert Walker Bush in the center of the Capitol rotunda. Monday night, the 45th president saluted the 41st. President Trump and the First Lady joined thousands of other Americans for the public viewing that will last until the state funeral on Wednesday. It was a powerful and somber arrival ceremony. Bush's family, including his emotional son, former President George W. Bush, on the Capitol steps, his father carried in as the sun set. Former First Lady Laura Bush could be seen saying, what a beautiful night. After that 21-gun salute, stirring tributes to America's longest living president and his life of service. His example will always inspire, and his lifetime of service will be enshrined in the hearts of the American people forever. His legacy is grace perfected. His memory will belong to glory. It will be a week of commemoration. Special Air Mission 41 set off from Houston carrying Bush 41 for his final journey to Washington. Wednesday morning, current and former world leaders, including President Donald Trump and the remaining former U.S. presidents, will be among the guests at President Bush's state funeral at the National Cathedral. After the state funeral, Bush 41 will be flown back to Houston for a second service. He will be laid to rest next to his wife, former First Lady Barbara Bush. The doors of the Capitol will remain open for more than 30 hours to give members of the public a chance to pay their respects. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.